Behind the Shades. Welcome to another episode of the Behind the Shade Show. It's your host, Terrain, and I'm back with another fantastic episode. But before we get right into it, remember to like, subscribe, and share, because today I want to talk to my young men out there, the ones who are working hard and trying to make it work, and sometimes they just don't know what is going wrong. And I'll start this by sharing your story when I was 20 years old. When I was 20 years old, I couldn't get a good date to save my life. McDonald's was my best friend, and I thought that was high class living. I would show up to McDonald's with my hair pulled back, you know, my shirt adjusted right. And then I'll bring the young lady's hand into the restaurant. I'll be like, okay, happy meal with or without the toy. <laughs> because that's all that I knew. I didn't have anyone there to guide me. And that's what I believe is lacking for the young men out there. Is it more difficult today than yesteryear to date? Absolutely. But you have more options. Back in my day, when we were dating, we had to take the ferry for five cents, go to the farmer's market and just say, you look pretty. Would you mind going on a date with me, my fair lady? Now you guys are swiping right, swiping left. You guys are scrolling down, scrolling up. You guys are trying to figure all this out and there's no one to guide you. And on top of trying to figure it out, one of the struggles that men have early on is that you don't have the resources, you don't have the confidence, and you don't have the income. Which is why you see a lot of women your age dating men who are older who have the car, who have the money, who could afford the dates, where you're still trying to search under the cushion and the sofas to make $5 so you can take her out to get Toonie Tuesday or a $2 meal. So what is it that we can do to help you? The first step is to understand that it is going to be okay. It may not feel that way today. It may not feel that way tomorrow, but it will be okay. Your dating chances will improve because you're in it for the long haul. It's a marathon. It is not a race. So the success that you may not have today, you will have later on because your value will increase with hard work, dedication, and ambition. More Number two, and more importantly, you have to know the type of woman that you want. And when you understand the type of woman that you want, then you need to figure out the type of man that they're going to be attracted to. And when you find out the type of man that they're attracted to, you will strive to become a better person as close as possible to that person. But you're not going to do it to get the girl. You're going to do it to be better. You're going to do it to put yourself in a better situation so you can ultimately choose. The best example I can give to each and every one of you is this. Imagine you're going to your store, Walmart, for example, right? And there's something that you want. You see an item on the shelf and you have two choices. You can get the peanut butter and jelly that has a crack in it that's dented, Or you can get the peanut butter and jelly that is in mint, pristine condition. Which one will you choose? Or we take it a step further. You go into your local high-end store. Everything in there is $100 or more. And you know you only have $50 to your name. You have two choices. You walk out and come back when you are ready financially now, to make that purchase that you want, or you go into that store and you complain that the prices are too high and you tell them to lower it for you. The market is the market. The market doesn't present itself any other way, and you need to navigate accordingly. What is it that you want? 
what is it that you can get? What is it that you're willing to sacrifice for? The woman that you want is something you should make the ultimate sacrifice for. 12, 14 hour days, five days a week at the gym, studying, reading, networking. These are all things that are going to come in handy. The days are gone. We can sit on the sideline and you're going to believe that good fortune is going to fall upon you. Or you're just going to stand there with your arms crossed thinking that every girl that you've ever wanted is going to run to big. Oh, my God. Marry me. Those days will never come. Being a man, there's a harsh reality of understanding your place in this world and how you can define it. From a very young age, many of us will struggle. From a very young age, many of us are trying to figure out our place in the world. And it is tough out there. It is very cold for many men who suffer depression, anxiety. Many of the mental health issues that we experience, there aren't resources for men to get assistance. Self-deletion rates are higher in men than it is in women. Depression, same thing. Loneliness, same thing. We have this alpha male mindset where we think that we have to be alone all the time, but we're built to be around people. And that's why when you have a lovely lady or when you have a group of people that you can call your own, your tribe, you feel fulfilled. You feel inspired. And that's one of the things that many married couples will tell you. My wife inspires me. She motivates me. Because when I look at her, I want to elevate her and make her the queen in my life. I want her to be my end all and be all. She's the light. She's the passion. That's how you want to navigate the dating market. You want to make sure that you're going there with intent and with with purpose. But more importantly, you're going in there knowing your contributions to it. So this is why in our 20s, don't get too hung up on what you're not able to do, but focus on what you're setting yourself up to do. Because your accomplishments may not come today, but it definitely is going to come in the future if you set yourself accordingly. And the third step is figuring out how you're going to get there. Who is it that you want in your life? How do you want them to be in your life? And what is the level of importance that you're going to place on them? So these are questions that each and every one of us have to ask ourselves. And these are questions that I asked myself. When I was trying to figure it out, I had to let go of a lot of things. I had to do a lot of self-reflection. I had to realize that many of the problems that I was experiencing was my own fault. And when when I came to terms with that, I became a better man. But more importantly, I became a better person. And to take it a step further, I became a better person to the type of person that I wanted to attract. I was able to not only fulfill myself, but I was able to fulfill what I wanted out of all the types of relationships, personal, professional, and romantic. That is how I grew. But it wasn't without pain and it wasn't without struggle. And that's what most of the 20s for men looks like. Growing pains. There's going to be a lot of silent suffering. There's going to be a lot of quiet tears, but you will get through it. Join us for more future episodes like the one you've listened to today, and we will be back. Stay tuned. (laughs) 